Hello everybody, what are you doing? Welcome to episode 4 of our speedrun tutorial. Um, I'm flying on a dragonfly right now, it's actually pretty nice. Today we are going to do shooting. <laughs> that was not a very good demonstration, but that is what we're going to implement today. So sit back and let's get coding. So first of all, I don't like how it zooms out when we are running the scenes. So we're going to go into the project settings. Under display window, we're going to go stretch, canvas items, expand. And let's try it again. So now when we run the scene, it's pretty good. Um, I'm actually going to change my camera to zoom of two. Okay, I'm happy with that. But of course, change it to what you'd like. Alrighty guys, so if you go into the assets, you'll see that we have a gun and we have a pollen bullet. So you can tell what we are going to do today. So we're gonna go into our character body. Okay, we're gonna add an anchor point for the gun and you will see in a jiffy why. So let's add that anchor and to it, we're gonna have the sprite for the gun. I'm gonna name it tool sprite. And in the texture, we're gonna drag in this gun texture and I'm gonna press alt and drag it out a little bit. And how we're going to rotate the gun, when, when we move our mouse, we are going to access this rotation property on the node and it's going to rotate along with our mouse. And it's a very easy function. First, let's get access to these. I'm going to highlight them both, hold down control, drag them in. And we're going to go into the input. And if the event is, I'm going to write mouse and then use input event mouse motion so this is if we're moving our mouse we're going to get access to that node 2d and we're going to look at um let's make the variable first so var mouse position equals get global mouse position so this um function is inside our character body 2d and it gets our global mouse position as it says and just like that, ladies and gentlemen, when we move our mouse, our gun follows it. But if you look closely, you can see our gun is upside down when we're on the left side. But no worries, I have a snazzy little script here that will help that. So let's check it out and then I will explain the code. So now the gun is very good. Okay, let's take a look at the script. So in here, we're saying if our mouse position X, so if our the X of the mouse position is to the left of that anchor. We want to make the Y of our scale negative one, else we want this to be one. So let's check out what making the Y to negative one does. So make sure you have this unlinked or else when you change the Y, it'll also change X and we don't want that. So when I change this, so you can see the gun is currently upside down, but when I make this negative Y, it is the right side. And then when we go, and when our mouse is to the right of this anchor, it puts it back to one. So that is what we're doing. Alrighty, now it's time to add the bullet. So we're gonna add a new area 2D scene. Let's name it bullet. It's going to have a sprite and we're gonna drag in this pollen and add a collision. The picture is very small, you gotta zoom in a lot. Let's add a shape. So we can get rid of that warning. That looks pretty good. Let's save our bullet scene and let's add a script. Let's delete all this. And for the script, we're gonna have it like this. So we have a speed of 200. And in the process function, we are incrementing the position by our transform X times speed times Delta. And we will deal with this transform X later, but this is basically just for the bullet to keep going in the direction it is facing. Okay, let's go back to our player. We want to instantiate this bullet scene every time we shoot. So I'm gonna do var underscore bullet equals, you need to access now your bullet scene and drag it in here, hold down control so we could add this preload. And let's go into the project settings and the input we're gonna add shoot and for me i want to make shoot a uh, left mouse button click but feel free to add it what you want so in our input if input is action just pressed shoot which is our mouse click input 
what we want to do is we want to make a var bullet equals that bullet scene and we are going to instantiate it because it is a scene. You can instantiate scenes. Now we need to add it to a node and we don't want to add it to ourselves because then when our player walks, the bullet will follow our player's position and we don't want that. So we're going to add it to our level one. Let's create a node that we could add it under. We'll call this bullets. So now we need to access this node through our character body. We'll do it a very simple way. We'll do at export var bullets node and type node 2D. So make that a capital D. Now when we come into level one, we can assign that to this. So we're gonna add our bullet scenes to this. So we will do bullets with an S, bullets node, add child and the bullet that we are instantiating. So after you add the child is when you change its position and do other stuff. So first we want the bullet to go in the direction of our mouse. So we're going to do bullet look at get global mouse position. We're also going to come into our player and we are going to add to our tool sprite. We're going to add a marker 2D. Zoom in, hold alt. And this is where our bullet is going to be instantiated. So we need to tell it bullet global position equals, let's get access to that marker 2D. Hold down control and we want it to be here. And let's test it, see if it works. There we go. So right now we can run faster than the bullet, that's weird. So feel free to make it uh, the speed that you want. Let's also add a sound effect. I've added some sound effects to the sound filter. So let's go to gunshot. The sound is very loud. So we want to make the volume negative 15 decibels. Let's rename it gunshot. Let's come in here, drag it, hold control. And when we shoot, we want this to play. Okay, I don't like all of this logic in our input function. So I'm gonna make a function to shoot. And then we're gonna drag all of this in here. If you wanna set all of these back, you can hold shift tab, it'll do all of it. And we'll do it like that. So let's see how it sounds with the gunshot. There we go, but right as of now, it's not doing anything to our dragonfly, so let's change that. Alrighty, so let's go to the bullet scene. Uh, let's go into the project settings. In general, scroll down to 2D physics. We're gonna add an enemy, I already added it, but it should be on layer three. Let's go to the dragonfly, and let's set our dragonfly to the enemy layer, which is layer three. Uncheck this, now in our bullet. We want it to collide with the layer three. So when our bullet collides, let's go into the signals. When a body enters, remember it'll only collide with the dragonfly. We want to get that body and queue free, which means to delete it. And then we also want to queue free the bullet. But what happens if the bullet doesn't collide with anything? Then we want to delete it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get a timer node. Let's set it to five seconds. Let's auto start it. And when the timer times out, we will queue free the bullet. And let's test it out. So I'm gonna shoot a bunch of times. We killed the dragonfly, let's come here. And these are our bullets and you can see that they all deleted because the five second timer went off. And that is how you do a shooting mechanic in a game. Alrighty guys, I noticed a bug where sometimes it doesn't shoot in the right direction. Like that. So a way that you can combat that is go into the player and just switch the location. Make sure that we're setting the global position before we look at that. So now it should be much better.
There we go. So alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you got something out of this and we'll see you next time. Bye.